In this video, you will see how Sage 300 accounts for foreign exchange gains and losses. Let us use the following scenario. We received an invoice from our supplier for 25,000 yuan and we'll pay that after 30 days. Our home currency is Canadian dollars. At the time we received the invoice, one Canadian dollar is equivalent to 5.03 yuan. This translates to 4,970.18 Canadian dollars. Our entry will be debit inventory or purchases for 4,970.18 and accounts payable is credited for the same amount. In SAGE, invoice is recorded at vendor currency with a corresponding exchange rate. The general journal entry is generated as follows. Note that the source and functional currency values are both available. Now, let's look at the payment. On the day that the payment is made, one Canadian dollar is equivalent to 5.08 yuan. This means that on this day, the value of our payable is 4,921.26 Canadian dollars. Looking back at the original valuation of the invoice, we can see that the value of our payable has decreased. And therefore, we have earned that difference as a result of changes in foreign exchange. Our entry will be debit accounts payable for 4,970.18, which is our original invoice value, a credit to cash or cash in bank for 4,921.26, and credit realized foreign exchange gain for the difference of 48.92. The payment entry in SAGE is recorded by selecting the appropriate invoice. The corresponding exchange rate is retrieved for the transaction and the journal entry is generated as follows. Note that the same concept is applied by SAGE on period end and year end valuations. If you want to know more about Sage and Sage products, please visit our website at www.mantralogics.com.